Hello and welcome to Only Dude Reviews and more and today we're going to be reviewing the PS3. Now I can see Black Ops 2 is in there. My favourite was 1. Sorry about this. reason it won't stay shut when I hold it up like that so I'll hold it like this but um, it's 500 gigabyte um, it's very slow on the store on the PS3 compared to the PS4 which is obviously the reason why the PS4 is better and the system is better too but with the PS3 I think most people buy this is because the online membership is free and no, uh, are not required to go online gaming. Because on the PS4 at the moment, for the last two to three years, it has been forced that we have to pay online membership just to get the free games. Now, on the PS3, you have an option. You either pay the, play the membership plus to, for the free games, or you don't. And you just have online free membership. But the PS4, they're forced to. Anyway, anyway, enough with the PS4 today, we're talking about the PS4. And, uh, open it. Take the game out. Oh, crap. And, uh, you put it back in. That's what it looks like in the inside. You can get these to like 50 to 100 pounds now compared to when they originally came out, which was like 3 to 400 pounds. But now they're about 50 to 100 pounds, depending on where you're buying from and what the condition is. Now, what I like most about this PS3 is when you switch it on, as notification on when people are signing in or signing out, just like the Xbox 360 did. Now, funny enough, the Xbox One and the PS4 don't do that. They only have notifications if you get a trophy, or if you have a message, or etc. So, overall I like this system because you get more games on it for free because there's loads of free games on it. There's barely any on the PS4, hardly any, but um, because it's been out longer I suppose, that's probably the reason why. Now you're probably wondering why ha Well, here it is. I had it out already. <laughs> uh. Now unfortunately you can't find the official controllers. I, I was lucky to have this one I had it second hand. Uh, you can get one, but not with the official logo on it, it will just say PS3 on it, or P3 or whatever. Now, the control on this is really bad, and I'm going to have to get a replacement, but in saying that, it's a very, very, very small controller compared to the PS4 version. Let me give you a demonstration, it's got less grip on it. Um, but with this one it's got more grip and you can shoot more this one it's very small they never did make a bigger version of the controller which is was a shame really and the, the, the only thing I like different from the PS4 to the PS3 is this bit this bit is more easy to use, it doesn't peel off as much compared to the PS4 controllers and uh, that, that's the reason um, I like the PS3 controllers because even though they sometimes stick they, they still don't peel off as much in my case. I paid 100 quid for this oh no, sorry I paid 130 the price is on it there <laughs> That's how much I paid for it. <laughs> oh lord. Dear me. Another thing I like about this feature is um, 
I would say the apps, there's quite more apps on here than the PS4 at the moment, um, which is kind, kind of weird, but yeah. Uh, another feature is that you can, uh, can stream on here, but only if you have a video PlayStation camera. With the PS4, um, you don't need to have a camera to stream, you can do it just audio. With this one, you have to have an a camera which I don't have at the moment but um, it'd be nice to have some of the old games remastered let me just get a couple of my games that I've got just one minute so you'll be staring at a wall for a minute and I'll just be talking in the background until I found it one about these guys and it's just that I don't have this prepared. I should have done. But I do Oh I found it now. Sorry about these guys. Now you're probably wondering why I only have only a few games. <laughs> the reason for that is because I have a lot of games that's already downloaded on the console as well as these three games because I have PlayStation Plus so I download the games. Now you, the only thing about them is unfortunately their time trial. As soon as your membership goes that's a good game but for some reason the server don't work on PS3 no more but, but it does on the Xbox 360 but not on the PS3 or the PC so you can only play that on offline if there's an update on that please let me know, comment below uh, Black Ops 2 my favouritest of the Call of Duty games um, because there's no jetpacks and all that and so that's the reason why I like that there'll be a full review on this as well and now I've got Black Ops 1, but it's downloaded. I bought that downloaded. I should have bought the disc, but they well. Anyway, uh, Modern Warfare 3. I uh, only paid 3 quid for this, so it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was a bargain. So, uh, yeah. The booklet itself was torn. I reckon that's the reason why it was so cheap. And it's probably because it's old. Um, another good... Warfare game. I wasn't really into the one and two warfare games and all that, but this one was actually okay, so that's the reason why I bought it. It's not my favourite game, but it's certainly better than Ghost and and Advanced Warfare. This is probably one of the best warfare games you got going. These two here are probably the best COD games you're going to get in history. Now you're probably saying, what about Call of Duty 1, 2, 3 and 4? Well, unfortunately, those games I couldn't get because they're hard to get nowadays. Call of Duty 4, probably you'd be able to get, but the first one has been removed from the PS3 store. Wonder why? I don't know. So, it's most likely you can get disc copies now. This game, believe it or not, on the Xbox 360, you can download it. On the PS3, you can only buy it disc only. A lot of problem is with the PS3 is discs, discs, discs. But then PlayStation got it right with the PS4, where they decided to do it with downloads as well. And I reckon in the future that's where things are going to go because technology is moving on. So for the PS3. And this is just for the PS3. I'm not doing the PS3 versus PS4. Not today. It's just a PS3 review. I know I've talked a bit about the PS4, but today is mainly about the PS3. Now, before we end this review, I'd just like to say that it's not really that heavy. It's got Bluetooth, HDMI, DVD, Blu ray, etc. etc. Um, it can play music on it. Unlike the PS4 for some reason. I'm, I know I'm getting back on the PS4 again, but PS4 can't play music, but the PS3 can. Why is that? 
anyway we'll get into that in another video but um, we're getting nearly out of time so what is your favourite PS3 game comment below and uh, what game should I buy for the PS3 because I'm stuck on buying them I can't, I can't seem to figure out which game to buy so um, yeah Sorry, put the wrong controller on there nearly. So, and all together, I give this in my opinion because sometimes it's very slow sometimes on loading up in my opinion um, on the online thing, but um, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Comment below if I should do a PS4 review in full. Comment below. We must get five likes in order to get a PS4 review and 1,000 views. Okay. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and recommend my channel to your friends. Thank you for watching. I've been only doing review and more. And um, thanks for watching. Peace.